Okay, so this video is an introduction to the Putnam math competition and a little bit of advice if you're taking this, especially for the first time or if you don't know much about it. So the Putnam math competition is a university college level competition and is taken North America wide. Uh, it comes in two parts. There's part A and part B and each has six problems and each is uh, about three hours or exactly three hours long. Um, so the competition has uh, 12 problems in total is out of 120, um, but the problems are quite considerably difficult. Uh, so I want to talk about some strategies for taking the competition and ways to enjoy it. So first of all, um, a little comment on the grading scheme. So every single problem is worth 10 points. And it's typically the case that people earn either 0, 1, 2, 8, 9, or 10 out of 10 on a problem. So you're typically getting very few points or you're getting quite a few points, right? And this tells you that what graders are really caring about is the depth to which you get to a solution. So you either get a lot of points for coming really close to a correct solution or if there's at least one uh, quite strong flaw, then you're getting pretty much no points. So you're rewarded for depth versus breadth. It makes a lot of a difference to get through as much as you can one problem rather than making a few comments on many problems. Secondly, in light of number two, take your time with writing, right? So the more careful that you, carefully that you write up a particular problem, the more you're rewarded in light of the depth versus breadth grading scheme. And lastly, you'll have a lot of time to do this contest. Uh, so I say enjoy the problems. Uh, take a read at some of the problems before you even start them and let the, your, your mind sort of sink into a lot of the problems while you're working on other ones. But really look at any particular problem and try to enjoy the problem, see where you can go with it um, and just have fun. So enjoy the process, enjoy the time and in future videos I'm going to talk about solutions to particular problems and ways that you could go about solving them.